set. Um, you know, something like this. I have mine a little bit custom, but it doesn't doesn't matter for the DJing. You'll just want to have all these set to auto. Um, these are just audio tracks, right? So then, oh, this is a plugin. We can just take that off, delete it. Um, take that off to the compressor. Okay. So what are you changing the auto? Audio. Um, th just auto in the center here under monitor. If that's not. What is it? If that's not there, um, there's these buttons down here on the bottom right. Mm -hmm. There's the input output button, which is the one you want to turn on. It says I O. Mm -hmm. And then there, just make sure they're all on so that you can see all the, the little extra add-on things. That, so, um, so you switch these all to auto, and then the next thing we're going to do is go to the second button down on the left top. Um, this is where your instruments and effects are. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go into the effects drop down. Are you in these? Just um, audio effects. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to the um, EQ3. We're going to drag that onto audio 1. Just click and hold and drag it over there. And uh, it adds it right here, down in the bottom here. Yeah. And uh, so there's the bass, mid, and high. They're all set to mm -hmm. zero. And then there's the frequency low and the frequency high. And uh, so that's fine. Um, the frequency low is where it cuts off the low frequency when you were to mute the low like that. That's how you kill the, the low frequencies or kill the mids or kill the highs. So um, first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to hold the option key and click and hold on the EQ3 and just drop it in track 2 to copy it. And then do the same thing, put it on track 3, and uh, track 4. So we have this EQ3 on all four of our first four audio tracks. Um, Shift-Tab is a way of shifting between the audio and the effects, but we haven't loaded any audio in yet, so. but I'll show you that later. So wait, you said hold Option down? Yeah, you hold Option and click on the EQ, and then you drag it to the different tracks. So that each one has a three low, mid, and high EQ, EQ3. You could also just click over here on the EQ3 and drag one onto each track like that, because we didn't change any of the settings. But that's how you copy stuff usually, is just holding Option, and clicking and dragging. And so then the next thing would be to go up here and in the top right here, we'll close this file management thing. But um, you see this um, little keyboard. Mm -hmm. It's like a little keyboard light that's on. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to turn that off so that we can use um, the, the keyboard keys on the computer to trigger stuff. Um, this turning it on is you know so that you can use your keyboard on your computer as like a synthesizer. But turning it off is like just for triggering. So then then we push this key button and it turns a uh, different color like this. And anywhere where it's orange or whatever color it turns is something that you can define a, a key to go to, to press that mm -hmm. or to change it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to track one and click on the low frequency and press the number one so that whenever we press one, it turns the bass on track one on or off. And we're going to go to track two and you're going to click gain on low. the low frequency and click on two, press two on the keyboard. Click on track three, click on the bass on the EQ and, and press three. Mm -hmm. Click on four over here and press 4. You only have to do this once, really. And then, then you'll be able to, whenever you want to do a new, new DJ set, you can select all the audio files you've loaded in and just 
delete them and then save it as something new and, and load all new audio files in. So, so we've done five audio tracks. Can you take a look at this one? Alright, I'm going to pause the uh, video.